It was a cold, rainy day when the client approached us with a problem revolving around a popular game called Blackthorn. Two days prior to the client's visit, after releasing an update, the revenue had suddenly dropped. But who or what had killed the game revenue? In order to deduce the origin of the problem and apprehend the culprit here, Watson, we need to get straight down to business with a professional tool that provides the facts and is fast and convenient to use. Dr. Watson, the game is afoot. Let's get started. Of course, Sherlock. It takes just one click to activate. Not only that, but with your brilliant intellect and Unity Analytics on the case, we don't need all of Scotland Yard to examine the clues. From the Data Explorer, we can see the total revenue and daily active user numbers for all users during the last 30 days. Both metrics seem to have dropped since the update release. Quite right, Watson. With our new Data Explorer, we no longer need to integrate multiple SDKs and switch between multiple dashboards to look up and summarize ads and in-app purchase data. What's more, we can now inspect in-app purchases and ads data separately. Fascinating, Sherlock. Here we go. In-app purchases revenue seems quite consistent, but ads revenue drops. Can we slice the data further? Using the Segment tool, we can slice the ads revenue data and daily active users by regions. Very interesting. It seems that the ads revenue and daily active users in the US and Germany are fairly consistent. But notice how they both drop precipitously in China, starting from the date we released the update patch. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we just found the deadly wound. Can we guess what caused it? I never guess, Watson. It's a shocking habit. Why not use our magnifier to delve into the details? A fine idea, Sherlock. The Funnel Analyzer allows us to track the progression of players through the games. The China Funnel tells us that less than 15% of players pass level 3. What does the rest of the world look like? It looks much better. Comparing that funnel with all other countries, we can see that China is way too low. Level 3 must be the scene of the crime. But we still haven't found our culprit. If only there was a way to go back to the scene of the crime and see if recorded history of what actually went on in our game. Ah, but there is. That's the power of heat maps. You see, Watson, with heat maps, we can now replay the events leading up to the drop in revenue and daily active users. It seems player engagement diminishes around this doorway. It's quite odd since this point is on a critical path of our game. Our recent update for the game involves a huge boost of cinematic effects. Could it be that the graphic improvements triggered the issue? It might be worth examining the performance metrics to validate our hypothesis. Our new heat maps now support FPS rendering in a true color gradient. Let's map the FPS distributions out. I say, Sherlock! The red dots suggest a huge FPS drop near the doorway. The man in red is the killer. But how do we discover who all those mysterious chaps in red are? It's elementary, my dear Watson. We eliminate all other factors, and the one that remains must be the truth. Let's have a look at all the crime data suspects' profiles. Right away, Sherlock. Using the new raw data export tool, we can export them in real time. We just need to specify the time, data, and format we want, and enter. It shows up in our dashboard right away. However, due to the urgent nature of this crime, I process the data in advance. Let's take a look. Since FPS is the key, let's go to the FPS column and sort them in ascending order. All low FPS users are using the same Moriarty device, and they're all from China. Every piece of evidence points to Moriarty as the smoking gun. Another mystery unlocked, Sherlock. We can now blacklist the device immediately and work on a fix to ship a patch immediately. The killer problem is now taken care of and the case of the missing revenue has been solved.